National Weather Service has a stern warning tonight. Our unprecedented heat wave will be dangerous and potentially deadly. The state has warning as well. The grid could fail and we may see power outages. KCL9's Nicole Comstock begins our coverage tonight. That's right, we're dealing with several days of triple digit heat combined with coronavirus shutdowns and a strained power system. That's why doctors say this weekend could be dangerous. A string of scorching hot days are a signature part of a SoCal summer. But finding relief this weekend might leave you coming up for air. Most public pools are closed because of the coronavirus. Well, if you have a pool, you can swim. If you don't have a pool, you can pay for swim lessons. But the ones here at Ontario's West Wind Community Center in line. are all booked up. They like fill up like within the first 10 minutes of the registration window. And another thing compounding the problem, the pandemic has more people stuck at home. Stay indoors and the air conditioning. <laughs> trying to cool the place down. That's why there's a statewide flex alert from 3 to 9 p.m. this Friday through Monday to take the strain off the state's power grid and prevent rolling blackouts. Cal ISO is asking us all to conserve energy by pre-cooling your home and charging electric vehicles and devices before the heat peaks. Also running major appliances and pool pumps either early or late. This group of neighbors at the Country Village Senior Community in Harupa Valley say they're going to take their dogs outside early or late too. It's going to be way too hot. And the dry heat we have here presents its own dangers. So you don't necessarily feel drenched in sweat. ER doctor Benjamin Arshambo says it's deceptively easy to get dehydrated without knowing it. He says signs of heat illness to watch out for range from cramps and profuse sweating to dizziness, vomiting, and imbalance. It's all about the you know the extreme condition of the weather as well as the amount of time that you're exposed to it. Dr. Arshambo says if someone you know is experiencing any of those latter symptoms, call 911 for help immediately. In the meantime, he says you should get them out of the sun, spray them down with water, and try to get some cool air blowing on them. That's what they do in the ER. Reporting in Harupa Valley, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.